Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, fellow Pokemon trainers, DX1 back at it again from the city of Philadelphia. And today we've got some exciting news. The rock event has officially begun in Pokemon Go. Leave no stone unturned during this adventurous event. So, what is going to be happening during this event? Shinies and more shinies, ladies and gentlemen. So, it says trainers, the adventurous new reason. Anyway, trainers, adventurous new research is on tap during an exciting in-game celebration starting on May 24th, which is today. Field research will be available with some exciting rewards, including a raid battle appearance by a Pokemon such as Aerodactyl. Throughout the celebration, rock-type Pokemon such as Geodude, the Leap, Nosepass, will appear more frequently in the wild. Your buddy Pokemon will earn candy four times faster throughout the event, and you'll receive extra XP for spinning the photo disc at Pokestops or gyms. Fortune favors the bold trainers, so enjoy this adventure before it ends on June 5th. So that's what we're getting for the Rock event. Rock event confirmed and it is live right now. Go ahead and take a look at the in-game shop items, starting with the special box. Three incense, three egg incubators, and five lucky eggs in the special box. The great box, six incense, six super incubators, eight lucky eggs, six lure modules. The ultra box, 12 super incubators, 15 lucky eggs, eight premium rate passes, and 15 lure modules for 1480 coins. Plus, we do have the star pieces and the super incubators available in the shop as well. The sh confirmed shinies for this event so far are Aerodactyl, Ammonite, and Kabuto. So, Ammonite. Aerodactyl and Kabuto are the confirmed shinies for this event as of right now. So it looks like we're getting a bunch of Cantonian shinies. Because last event we got Hoenn region shinies. Looks like this time we're getting Cantonian shinies. So Kanto region, rock type shinies coming to the game. I hope we get shiny Geodude and shiny Nose Pass, but we'll have to see about that. Let's go ahead and start the adventure. Okay, so no shiny Kabuto or Ammonite as of yet, but look at this camera ups. 1638 CP. Holy freaking crap, man. I haven't seen a camera up this powerful in at least a couple months. It's got to be at least a couple months since I've seen a camera up this huge. This camera up is freaking amazing right here. Hopefully it has good IVs as well. It is weather boosted because it's a beautiful 85 degree sunny day here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Camera up caught 846 candies on the year. It's above average IVs. I thought this was going to be really good IV. I honestly thought this was... A really good IV camera, but on our way to some more shiny checks, let's keep on going. Yo, shout out to the uh, Philly Raid Squad. Homies holding it down all across the walk. Ho oh, oh Raid about to start off. And so far, the Rock event has been a lot of fun. So for the most part, it's going to be just like the fighting type event was that we had, like, what, a week and a half ago where nothing was spawning but just Makuhita and just uh, Metatite. We did not get a shiny Makuhita during that hunt, unfortunately, but we're gonna do our best to hopefully pick up some shinies in this quest. So, so far, I haven't picked up any shinies, but it's basically been the same thing over and over again with these events. It's been the same Pokemon spawning all over the place, all over again. Do you remember the Earth Day celebration event? We had the same thing where we had Whalmers and other water type Pokemon spawning all over the place. So it kind of got me thinking, and I raised the question and asked you guys, you know, are you guys getting event fatigue? Are you guys getting a little bit sick of these event spawns where we're having the same exact Pokemon spawning everywhere? Or are you actually loving the events? Or are you actually loving having different Pokemon spawning? And you guys gave me a pretty, pretty direct response, or at least that's what I got from the total of votes that I received on Twitter. So most of you guys are thinking that the shiny event, just keep them coming, just keep keep the shinies coming in Pokemon Go. This is an amazing time for the game. And it's honestly, it's a 360 from the way the game was last year. We were getting nothing like this last year. We would wait like a month to two months for any type of event in Pokemon Go. Now we are just getting them like crazy. So, uh, hey, it's all right. It increases the, the urgency to go get shinies, which is cool, but then these shinies are pretty hard to get. I mean, let me know if you guys have gotten one of the shiny rock Pokemon so far. Um, I don't know why it just gave me the weather notification. Ah! Oh my god! What? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I got that on camera! On camera this time! Shiny Ho-Oh! My very first shiny legendary Pokemon! Let's get it! Alright guys. Alright, 27.52. It is a bad IV. But it is weather boosted. That's pretty cool as well. So, first of all, let me screenshot this. Bam. All right, beautiful. We're going to get an AR shot at this, I, I think. Um, all right. Let's do something cool. Let's do something cool real quick. I got an idea.
ladies and gentlemen, it is time to catch it. Pineapple Berry, initiate the catch. Up, oh, I dropped the ball. Oh my god. Good thing I have nine balls for this, right? Boom, great throw, initiated. Let's see if we get it. Well, it's instant catch, so you already, you already know that we already know that we caught it, right? All right, shiny Ho-Oh down. Now let's go find ourselves a shiny rock type Pokemon. What a crazy day. An Ammonite raid. Pretty cool, Some pretty cool stuff right here. So while we battle this Ammonite raid, I wanted to, get to tell you guys a little bit of a secret. Well, it's not really much of a secret, but I definitely suggest you guys do this. Go ahead and take a screenshot and track your encounters of Ammonite, of Kabuto, and of Aerodactyl. Actually, I've been doing that ever since the Earth Day event, and I've been able to track my encounters for my shiny Wailord and my shiny Metagen, which is really cool to see how many encounters it requires or it required you to get the shinies. I haven't gotten a shiny Makita, and I got a shiny Metatite at 336 encounters. So it's important to keep those stats. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a screenshot of all of the encounters I've had for Ammonite, um, Kabuto, and Aerodactyl before the event started, before I started going off and shiny checking. So before you start shiny checking, take a screenshot of your encounters in the Pokedex screen and then you'll be able to document that. Then you'll be able to subtract how many encounters you've seen after you get the shiny. And then you can see how many Pokemon you saw. I'm not sure if you can get the shiny Ammonite from the raids, but I know that shiny Ammonite is available in the game. So we're gonna go ahead and toss the Premier Ball to the face. Two successful raids today. Let's keep shiny checking. Shout out to your boy, Mystic7. Got a pseudo Wudu hanging out here on the way to, on the way to uh, Rittenhouse Square Park. I cannot talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me, I cannot talk. 1332, we gotta go Golden Raz and Ultra Ball on this darling little Pseudo Wudo right here. There's also, I heard there were Pseudo Wudo raids going on in Pokemon Go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a list of all the raid bosses going on in Pokemon Go. Literally, most of the Pokemon that are spawning right now are raid bosses. There are Kabuto raid bosses, Amai raid bosses, Aerodactyl raid bosses, that's how you get the shiny, as well as a whole bunch of others. I saw a Makarga raid as well. I'm looking for all the raid bosses right now, but so yeah, Pseudo Wudo down. Shout out to your boy Mystic. And uh, on our way back to Rittenhouse, oh wait, shiny? Nope, still on the hunt for that uh, shiny Kabuto. But we got a shiny today, which is cool. Very cool. Also, fellow Pokemon trainers, don't forget that June starts the month of a brand new research and Articuno comes to the field research box as well. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the news and we'll take a look. So, new research tasks feature water type Pokemon. So get ready for more field research tasks and exciting rewards in June. On June 1st at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, a brand new set of field research tasks focusing on water type Pokemon will become available. These tasks will particularly highlight water type Pokemon such as Seal, Kingler, and Horsey. I love Horsey. If you're able to earn enough stands for your research breakthrough, you'll have an opportunity to catch the legendary ice and flying type Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region, Articuno. Our boy, Team Mystic. Last but not least, our boy Articuno coming to the field research breakthrough box coming soon on June 1st. So I want to be one of the first to get Articuno in Pokemon Go. I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and save some of my research stamps so I can be one of the first to get Articuno. So that's coming up in June. So those of you that don't have a good IV Articuno, Articuno is a pretty good ice type with a max CP of over 2,800. So I definitely suggest you guys get a good IV um, Articuno. Get all of your research stamps that you need to get. You can get four Articunos for the month in June. So I definitely hope you guys take advantage of that. I definitely will be because Articuno, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, baby. Articuno is back June 1st. Okay, so we're gonna pick up this non-shiny Ammonite, but that's not even the point of this little video clip. I'm gonna show you guys something that's really, really awesome. Check this out. I gotta say, when I see a Dunsparce in Pokemon Go, I have to take advantage. I freaking love this Pokemon so much. He's so underappreciated. And he's just my boy. I love Dunsparce. So we got a Dunsparce at 706 CP. I think it was 706 CP. But nonetheless, we got ourselves a Dunsparce right here. One of the rarest normal type spawns you can come across. I saw a lot of these down in Texas. But first time I've seen one in Philadelphia in such a long time. So Dunsparce down. Also, we're going to pick up this Anorith as well. Didn't get a shiny rock type yet. But we still have a couple more hours of grinding left to go. So we'll see if we pick one up later on tonight. Let's keep on going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've literally been shiny checking all day and uh, pretty much all night as well. I'm, I'm trying to look for a couple more spawns as well. 
Um, they're, all, they're, they're all over the place right now. So we've been chatting, checking for stuff all day. This could be the one though. No, it's not. So um, we're gonna end it right here by catching this Kabuto 76 CP. Okay, so the first day of the rock event, I guess kind of a success. We did get a shiny. Let's go ahead and get our research stamps of the day. A non-shiny Kabuto for my field research. I feel like that's literally just like, like an insult to injury, like salt in the wound kind of thing right there, I guess. That's the way I see it. All right, Kabuto down, and now we have just have one more reward. We gotta claim our two Ultra Balls. Gotta win a couple gym battles. We'll do that in a little bit tomorrow. So, first day, I don't think was successful. We're still gonna do a little bit of grinding tonight, but then for the most part, we're gonna pick this up on Saturday, where we'll be shiny hunting for Ho-Oh a little bit more, even though we just caught one. But the X1 signing out, um, don't forget, Articuno is coming to the game June 1st. Three new rock type shinies, four times walking distance, and you get extra XP for spinning Pokestops. Extra XP for spinning Pokestops and gym stops as well. And I think that's about it. The rock event has begun. It's going to end on June 7th. So get out there and go get yourself a shiny rock type Pokemon. Dance one signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one from Philadelphia.